Praise the Lord. The last time we covered just a few of the many scriptures there are in the Word of God concerning creation. Yeah. Yeah. Praising yeah. God. We talked about the sun, the mm -hmm. moon, the stars, the heavens mm -hmm. of heavens, yes. and the waters that are above the heavens lifting up their voice mm -hmm. in praise unto God. And you remember we covered all of these passages in Psalms mm -hmm. 148, and then you can look back at last yeah, time's yeah. handout, yeah. Psalms 148, 3 through 6, where it talks about the heavens praising mm -hmm. the Lord. And then it talks about the fish mm -hmm. in the sea. So it goes yeah. from the heavens down to the depths of the sea in Psalms 148, verse 7. The fish in the lakes and in the oceans praise the Lord. In Psalm 69, verse 13, verse 34, this is just a little quick review. Mm -hmm. uh, heaven, <laughs> earth, the seas, and everything yes. in them, praise God. Mm -hmm. And we saw in Psalms 98, 7, the seas are roaring mm -hmm. as they praise their creator. Psalms 98, 8, the floods, they clap their hands in thunderous applause. And we talked about how mm -hmm. when the waves of the ocean yes. mm -hmm. hit the rocks oh, yeah. and, and come to the shore, come up on the sand, and we hear that, that sound that they make, they're clapping. Clapping their hands. They're yes. worshiping the Lord. The floods clap their hands. Mm -hmm. Psalms 98 verse 8 says. And the mountains and the hills rejoice. Psalms 148 verse 9. And then it talks about all the animals here on earth. Psalms 148 10. We covered all the animals, the cattle, mm -hmm. the, the animals that creep the King James says the creeping mm -hmm. things. Yeah. All the animals that crawl on, on the, the earth. And all of the flying fowl, all types of birds that fly, they praise their creator. And we covered Psalm 65, 13, all of the flocks of, of the herds of cattle, sheep, all of the flocks in the fields, in the valleys, they rejoice. And the corn, mm -hmm. all yeah. of the stalks yeah. of corn out mm -hmm. in the cornfield. They shout for joy and they mm -hmm. sing yeah. Psalm 65 verse 13. And then our favorite song that we used to sing, Isaiah 55 12, uh, the trees <coughs> of the mm -hmm. field, they clap their hands mm -hmm. and they sing out praises unto God. So we see all of creation and all of heaven and the heavens of heavens are praising and worshiping mm -hmm. their creator God. And we covered, i read it one more time. Psalms 148 verses 1 through 2. Praise ye him all ye angels. Praise ye him all his host. So it separates the angels from the host. Mm -hmm. The angels up in heaven and the host, the heavenly host. All of our loved ones who have gone on before us. They are praising and worshiping Amen. the Lord. Amen. All of heaven itself is erupting in continuous praise yes. unto the heavenly father now tonight i want us to cover just a few of, of the many many more scriptures about creation itself praising god did you realize that creation is so important to god that he included all of creation in the covenant mm -hmm. that he made with noah after the flood. Had you ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. At the covenant that God made with Noah, that covenant was an everlasting That's covenant mm -hmm. because it's still in effect today. Now look at your handout for tonight. Genesis chapter 9, beginning in verse 8. And God spake, or he spoke unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I beheld, and I, God said, is he speaking, Behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you. Now look at verse 10. And with every living creature. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Every living creature that is with you. Of the fowl, the flying birds, of the cattle, and of every beast. Every type of animal on the earth, God said. From all that go out of the ark. You remember God commanded mm -hmm. that 
two, the, the animals come in two by two under the ark. Mm -hmm. And God says, all of the animals that go have come into the ark. Now the flood's over. Now they're going out of the ark. And so God says, I'm establishing my covenant with every one of you animals that's going out of the out of the ark. And, it, and he goes on to say, in every beast, every animal of the earth. So who is this covenant going to be with? Was it just to Noah and his sons? No. It was to every living creature all of the different kinds of birds all of the different kinds of animals all creatures not just man mm -hmm. now Genesis chapter 9 verse 11 and I God says I will establish my covenant with you neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of a flood neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth God said, this is the token or the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations mm -hmm. or from generation yeah. to generation mm -hmm. to generation forever and forever mm -hmm. and forever. God said, this is a token. This is the sign of the covenant which I am making today with you Noah and with your sons oh but not just the humans you humans but with every living creature and not just with your generation but perpetual mm -hmm. generations mm -hmm. every generation after you so the covenant that God made included every Mm -hmm. that God had created mm -hmm. everything that God had given life to now what was the token what was the sign of the covenant that God made with Noah and with the animals verse 13 Genesis chapter 9 verse 13 God said I do set my bow in the cloud or my mm -hmm. rainbow yeah. mm -hmm. in the cloud Yep. And it shall be for a token, for a sign mm -hmm. of a covenant between me and just you know it, no. just mankind. Mm -hmm. No, between me, God says, and the earth. Mm -hmm. So the token, the sign of that covenant was the rainbow. And God said... It's going to be between you, Noah, and who else? The earth. Not just man, but the whole earth. Now, Genesis chapter 9, verse 14. And it shall come to pass, God is still speaking, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow, the rainbow, shall be seen in the cloud. Now, how do we know this is an everlasting covenant that God's making? Do we still see rainbows yes. today? Yep. Sure. We still see that token. We still see that sign yep. of the covenant that God made over 6,000 years ago with Noah and every creature. Mm -hmm. Every creature. God said, when I cause the cloud to come over the earth and the rainbow to appear in the cloud, God says, I will remember my covenant. So not only is it a sign for us, a token, but it's a sign mm -hmm. for God himself. Mm -hmm. I will remember my covenant, which is between me and every living creature of all flesh. Mm -hmm. And the waters shall no more become a flood to, to destroy all flesh. So that's God's promise in this covenant. Mm -hmm. That's one of the conditions. You remember when, when two people or two yeah. tribes entered into a blood covenant? Mm -hmm. They would state the terms of the covenant. And, and so God said, now this is going to be the token. This is going to be the sign of, of our covenant this rainbow and it's going to be between me and every creature of all flesh all types of flesh and this is going to be one of the this there are mm -hmm. symbols of the covenant one of the stipulations i'm not going to ever destroy the earth again by water so this covenant was between god 
and all of his creatures, every living creature. God says, every time I look upon it, mm -hmm. look at verses 16 and 17, the bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant, everlasting mm -hmm. covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, this is the token, this is the sign of the covenant, this rainbow that I'm putting in the clouds, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. Mm. God talked to his creation and he said, looky here, trees, looky here, animals, looky here, sun, moon, stars, look here, every creature that I've ever created. I'm making this covenant between me mm -hmm. and you. I will never destroy you again <clears throat> by water. And this is a token. This is a sign of my covenant. I'm placing my rainbow in the sky. And when I see it, I will remember what I promised you. And when you see it, you are to remember this covenant. And remember that the earth will never again be completely destroyed by water. Think how awesome this is. I had mm. never considered until I studied this that God made a covenant with all of creation mm. and not just Noah and not just man, but all of the animals, mm. all of God's creation, the mm. trees, everything in God's creation. Psalms chapter 65 and verse 8. They also that dwell in the uttermost parts are afraid at thy tokens or at thy signs. Thou makest the outgoings of the morning and evening to rejoice. Now the King James wording is a little hard mm -hmm. to understand. I like the New American Standard version of verse 8. And I put it in your handout. It says, they who dwell in the ends of the earth stand in awe. Of mm. your signs, of your of your tokens, you make the dawn and the sunset shout for mm. joy. Amen. Isn't this marvelous? The first light of, of day and the last light of evening, as the mm -hmm. sun goes down, is shouting praises unto God. Mm. Wow. Mm. Psalm 65 verse 12b, the, the last part of the verse, it says the little hills rejoice on every side. Mm. What What's the hills and the mountains mm. doing? They're, they're rejoicing. rejoicing. They're praising their creator. And we've already covered in Psalm 65 verse 13, but let's read it again. The pastures are clothed with flocks. The valleys also are covered over with corn. They shout for joy. They also sing. Mm. So all of the hills, all the mountains are rejoicing. All of the valleys are are rejoicing all of the 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 crops out in the field mm -hmm. they are shouting for joy singing god's praises psalm 66 verses 1 through 4 says make a joyful noise unto god all ye lands sing forth the honor of his name make his praise glorious mm -hmm. wow i like that don't you Mm -hmm. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works, or how awesome. Mm. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. That word, Selah. When you read the Psalms, you see that word over and over and over, Selah. What does that mean? It means pause and calmly think of that. It means anytime you're reading a Psalm and you see Selah, you are to 
pause and think about what you're reading. Meditate on it. Consider it. Now, the wording on verse in verse 3 is a little hard to understand mm -hmm. in the King James. So, the, I put the New King James translation in your handout of verse 3, where the King James says, Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. The New King James says, Say to God, how awesome are your works. Mm -hmm. God's works, His creation is indeed awesome, isn't it? What is all of the earth doing? Worshiping God, mm -hmm. singing praises unto His name. Mm -hmm. All of God's creation. That's why He created mm -hmm. the trees, mm -hmm. the birds chirping, mm -hmm. all of the animals, mm -hmm. and us. That's why He created everything, everything. that He created was to praise yeah. and worship and give honor unto him. Psalms chapter 96 verses 1 through 2 says, Oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord. Bless his name. Shew or show forth his salvation from day to day. All of the earth is singing unto God and blessing and praising his holy name. Mm -hmm. Sing unto the Lord. How much of the earth? Just some of the earth? Mm -hmm. No, all of the earth. Everything that's in the earth is to sing praise unto God. Psalms 96 verses 11 through 12 says, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Hallelujah. Mm. Creation has a voice yes. and all of creation is praising its creator. Mm -hmm. The heavens are rejoicing. The earth is glad. The sea and every living thing in the seas, in the oceans, roars in praise to their creator. And the the fields and everything in them, all of the different crops, all of the different, whether it's corn, cotton, soybeans, all of the crops in the fields are rejoicing and the trees are joining in in jubilant praise unto God. All of God's creation is making His praise glorious. Hallelujah. And did you realize that man can learn mm -hmm. from creation? Yeah. We can mm -hmm. learn from creation. We can take a lesson from the trees and the corn mm -hmm. yeah. just swaying back and mm -hmm. forth in, in the breeze. It's rustling the sound that it makes. It's praising mm -hmm. its creator. We, man, can learn from God's mm -hmm. creation. Job said that we could. In, in Job, the, the book of Job, chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. Job said, but ask now the beast, ask the animals, and they shall what? Teach, teach thee. thee. And the fowls of the air, and they shall tell thee. Mm. Or you speak to the earth. Do you talk you talk mm. to the earth? It shall teach thee. Mm. And the fishes of the sea shall declare unto thee. Who knoweth not in all these that the hand of the Lord hath wrought or done this? In whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath of all mankind? Oh, I love the Revised Standard Version of this passage. I read all of these passages in about 20 or 25 different Bible translations. And some of them are just so awesome. I put the Revised Standard Version 
in your handout. Look at it in Job chapter 12, verses 7 through 10. But ask the beast, and they will teach you, the birds of the air, and they will tell you, or the plants of the earth, and they will teach you, and the fish of the sea will declare to you, who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of all mankind. Job is talking to his so-called friend Zophar. You remember? Job was afflicted with boils from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. He had lost everything that he had. His children had, had been killed. And then here comes three supposedly friends with friends mm -hmm. like these guys. Who wow. needs enemies? I tell you. And they are just accusing Job of lying, accusing him of, of being in sin. That's why all of this calamity has come upon you, Job. <laughs> you have sinned. And don't Christians do that yep. today. No. God took your children. Yeah. God Cost took your you child. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't. Because mm -hmm. you're not living right or you're not going to church. God is fault. not yeah. God is yeah. not the thief. He does yeah. not kill. Jesus said the thief yep. in John 10 and 10, the thief, the enemy, the, mm -hmm. the devil comes yeah. to steal. Kill, kill, to steal, yeah. and to destroy. But Jesus yeah. said, I've come that you might have life mm -hmm. and have it more abundantly. So Job's friend Zophar has just given Job a scathing rebuke. If you mm -hmm. want to back up one chapter to Job chapter 11. And even in Job chapter 11, verse 3, Zophar calls Job a liar. And just all kind of railing accusations that they are throwing and hurling at Job. He's already down. He's lost everything except his nagging wife that said, yeah. Job, why don't you curse God and die? <laughs> what did he say to her? Hush up, woman. You, you talk like a foolish woman. I'm not going to curse God. No way. <laughs> Yes. And so then these three friends are bad mouthing him, accusing mm -hmm. him of sinning, and accusing him of even lying. Yep. And Job answers them in in this passage that we've just read in Job chapter 12 verses 7 through 10. Job answers Zophar, his friend that just, has just giving him a scathing rebuke and called him a liar. Job said, look here, Zophar, if you want to know a thing or two, you ask the beast, you mm -hmm. ask the animals, they'll teach you a thing yeah. or two. You ask mm -hmm. the birds, you, they will talk to you, they'll tell you and you ask the plants, they'll teach you. You ask the fish in the sea. You just ask God's creation and they'll tell you a thing or two, mm -hmm. Zophar. Mm -hmm. I would say that that Job is a little bit ticked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little ticked exactly. off at, yeah. at his so-called friends, mm -hmm. and boy, I would be too. Mm -hmm. But he's saying, "Hey, Zophar, if you want to know something, you just ask the animals. You ask the birds; they'll tell you. The plants mm -hmm. on the earth, they'll teach you. You ask the fish in the sea, and they'll tell you a thing or two. They're smart enough to know that the hand of the Lord." is in control of everything and in his hand is life and breath and every living creature including you so mm -hmm. far is what Job is telling telling him I, I would say he is, has had enough of their, yep. their mouth wouldn't yep. you? Yep. Look at Psalms 97 and verse 1 The Lord reigneth let the earth rejoice let the multitude of the isles or the islands mm -hmm. be glad thereof. The New American Standard Version says, The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many mm -hmm. islands be glad. When yes. you go to the ocean mm -hmm. and you, when you, if you go on a cruise, mm -hmm. you see all of these little islands. What are they doing? They're praising rejoicing God. and praising God. They're a part of God's creation. Mm -hmm. The islands in the sea and they're joining in with the sea and joining in with the fish in the sea. Praising God. Psalms 97 and verse 6. The heavens declare mm -hmm. His righteousness yeah. and all the people see His glory. 
glory the heavens declare mm. or they talk about God's mm. glory about his goodness about his power about his righteousness mm -hmm. The heavens declare his handiwork. Every time we look at a beautiful sky at sunset or see a mm -hmm. rainbow or look at any part of mm -hmm. God's creation, we are beholding God's glory. The heavens, plural, mm -hmm. declare his righteousness. Yes. Glory mm. to God. Psalms 103 and verse 22 says, bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. I, and the living translation, the living Bible says, let everything everywhere bless or praise the Lord and how I bless him too. Oh, I love that. Yes and amen. How I join in with God's creation and bless and praise my creator yes. too. Oh, I love that. I love that. Psalms chapter 100 and 14 verse 1. You could just do nothing mm -hmm. but read the Psalms mm -hmm. for a month or two and just get a little sampling of creation praising God. Psalms 114 verse 1 says when Israel, talk about the children of Israel, went out of Egypt the house of Jacob from the people, from a people of a strange language. This verse is referring to God bringing the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt after 430 years in slavery. 430 years they had spent in Egypt in Egypt as slaves. And jot this scripture down, Exodus chapter 12, verse 40. You can read that. And Exodus chapter 12 is an excellent chapter to read about God miraculously delivering the children of Israel that first Passover night when they put the blood of the Lamb on their doors. So, now look. Look at verse 3. It says, The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. Jordan was driven back. Psalms 114 verse 3. Mm -hmm. The sea saw it and fled. Jordan was driven back. When God brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, they came to the Red Sea, didn't mm -hmm. they? They had no place to go because the Red Sea was in mm -hmm. front of them. Pharaoh's mm -hmm. army was behind mm -hmm. them, overtaking them. Mm -hmm. And what did God do? He parted the Red Sea. And you can read that account in Exodus chapter 10 of where God God sovereignly parted the Red Sea. The sea saw God's power, and it says the wow. sea fled, or the sea rolled back, and the children of Israel walked across on dry ground. Mm. And when the children of Israel, after they had mm. gone over the Red Sea, the Red Sea parted, then later they came to the Jordan River. Mm -hmm. It was the same situation. Mm -hmm. The Jordan River, it was the time of the rainy season and it had overflowed its banks and what did God do? He parted the Jordan River also. He he told Joshua Joshua was leading the children of Israel on into the promised land and God told Joshua to have the priest that were carrying the Ark of the Covenant, which was where the mm -hmm. glory and the presence of the God of God dwelt. And God said, as soon as the priests carrying that Ark of the Covenant, as soon as their feet touch that Jordan River, as soon as they step into the water, the water is going to part. The Jordan River is going to part. Mm -hmm. And you can read that account in Joshua chapter 3. Oh, mm. just jot that down. And when you have time, go back and read that account. Oh, it's just mm. awesome reading how God parted the Jordan River. And in Psalms chapter 114 and verse 4, it says, The mountains skipped 
like rams mm. and the little hills like lambs. Mm. I like them. I was reading and researching all my older commentaries, mm -hmm. men that mm -hmm. wrote 200, 350 years ago, wrote commentaries by hand, by candlelight. Mm -hmm. And so they wrote the commentary on the Bible in Barnes. He wrote concerning this verse, verse four, the, he says that the word rendered skipped, the mountain skipped, means to leap for joy and mm. dance in the original Hebrew language. The Old Testament, you remember, was written in the language of Hebrew. Mm. And he says this word skipped, translated in our King James Bible, in Hebrew, this the word skipped means to leap for joy and to dance. Wow. Isn't that great? Wow. I love it. And you say, well, I look at Sand Mountain. I look at Lookout Mountain. I, they don't look like they're skipping. They don't look like they're leaping. They don't look like they're dancing. They don't look like they're moving. It doesn't matter if mm -hmm. they don't look like they're moving. They are moving. moving. Mm -hmm. And we're moving too. The earth is rotating. It's mm -hmm. spinning and spinning and spinning right now. We just can't mm -hmm. detect it. It's just like we can't hear creation praising God. We can't see and know that we're moving mm -hmm. and spinning along with the earth turning. But we are. And I did a little research, Mark. The earth is rotating at just over a thousand miles per hour. I'm sure you knew that being an airline pilot. And it takes 24 hours for the earth to make one complete revolution around the sun. The circumference of the earth at the equator is 25,000 miles. So if you divide 25,000 by 24 hours, it's just over a thousand miles per hour. So we are spinning. We're on earth. Mm. The earth is spinning, rotating at just over a thousand miles per hour. And yet to us, we're sitting, sitting still. still. Yeah. What a <sighs> mighty creator we serve. So if the word of God says that the mountains skip like rams and the little hills like lambs, mm -hmm. have you ever watched mm -hmm. little calves and little sheep out in the field, mm -hmm. especially if they've been in a pen <coughs> uh, and mm -hmm. been in a confined area, been in a fence when you open the gate, what do they do? Mm -hmm. They just run skipping and they're mm -hmm. jumping and leaping. Well, that is what this word skipped mm -hmm. means. The mountains are jumping, they're leaping, they're mm -hmm. dancing, and we are to the earth is spinning it's it's rejoicing it is leaping and moving and spinning and the earth is singing praises mm. every time every time the earth it makes that revolution around the sun and who is the real sun mm -hmm. not the s-u-n s-o-n the son mm -hmm. of god mm -hmm. hallelujah yes, so if the word says the mountains skip like rams and the little hills like lambs then they are skipping they are leaping they are dancing they are praising their creator mm -hmm. and look at verses 5 through 7 of psalms chapter 114 verse 5 what ailed thee don't you love the king james mm -hmm. wording in other words what's wrong with you mm -hmm. or what is your problem mm -hmm. oh thou see that thou fleddest Talking about the Red Sea, thou Jordan, the Jordan River that thou was driven back, ye mountains that ye skipped like rams, and ye little hills like lambs, tremble thou earth at the presence of the Lord, at the presence mm. of the God of Jacob. Wow. All of creation instantly obeys God's voice. And when he speaks, it, the earth shakes, trembles. We read several accounts in the New Testament of earthquakes. The earth mm -hmm. 
When Jesus died, mm -hmm. there was an earthquake. Yes. The rocks rent. The earth shook. The graves were opened. Mm -hmm. And when the prayers were made it, for the saints mm -hmm. in the prison, and when Paul and Silas was yeah. in prison, at midnight sure. they prayed and they sang praises. Mm -hmm. And what happened? The God shook. sent an earthquake just in that spot. Mm -hmm. Shook the cell doors mm -hmm. opened that were locked caused mm -hmm. the prisoners chains to fall off of their hands and their feet mm -hmm. god sent that earthquake shook the earth the earth was mm -hmm. trembling praising praising, praising their creator mm -hmm. all of creation mm -hmm. instantly obeys god's voice if god says red sea part jordan river part earth quake shake if mm -hmm. all of god's creation instantly obeys god's voice how could we not obey mm -hmm. the command of our creator man it how how could creation dare not obey the command of its creator it, it doesn't obeys god's voice instantly how could you and i god's creation of, mm -hmm. of mankind how could we not instantly obey his command and if you still aren't convinced that we are supposed to praise god <laughs> then look at this scripture right. psalms chapter 115 verse 17 the dead praise <laughs> not the lord neither any that go down into silence mm. the dead praise not god if you're dead then Good you're praising. exempt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from praising God. Jesus. If you're breathing, yeah. then you are yep. to praise, praise God. God. Mm -hmm. The only thing that doesn't praise God is those who are dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. yeah. Boy, mm -hmm. I've been in some dead churches mm -hmm. spiritually, yeah. hadn't y'all? Yeah. Because yeah. they wasn't praising yeah. God. Yeah. They wasn't yeah. dead yeah. physically, yeah. but they were spiritually dead churches. Mm -hmm. Verses 17 through 18. Let, let's read verse 17 again. The dead praise not the Lord, neither any that go down into silence, but we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. I like the living mm. translation uh, of these two verses. The dead cannot sing praises to Jehovah here on earth. <clears throat> But we can. <laughs> we praise him forever. Hallelujah. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. Yes. That's what the Living Bible says. Oh, don't That's you love the, the Living Bible? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Living Bible is one of, one of my favorite translations. The dead cannot sing praises unto mm -hmm. Jehovah here on earth, but we can. Mm -hmm. We praise him forever. Hallelujah. Praise, praise the Lord. And in Isaiah chapter 42, verse 10 through 12. Sing unto the Lord a new song, and he's praised from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that is therein, the isles or the islands and the inhabitants or those that live on those islands. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof do what? Lift up their voice. The villages mm. that Kedar doth inhabit, let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Mm. Let them give glory unto the Lord and declare his praise in the islands. Look at the, the living Bible. Mm. It makes it so much more clear. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing his praises, all you who live in earth's remotest corners. Mm. Think about it. Mm. The Whatever is in the remotest corners of the earth, Siberia, yeah. the North Pole, the remotest corners 
in of the earth. What are they doing? Sing a new song to the Lord. Sing his praises. All you who live in earth's remotest corners. Sing, O oh sea. Sing, all you who live in distant lands beyond the sea. All of the countries across the ocean. Join in the chorus, you desert cities, Kedar and Selah, and you two dwellers in the mountaintops. That's us. We live on yep. Sand Mountain. <laughs> Let the western coastlands glorify the Lord and sing his mighty power. That about covers every part of the earth, yes. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The remotest corners, the seas, the ocean, the distant lands beyond the sea, all of the, all of the desert, the dwellers on the, on the mountaintops, in the western coastlands, everywhere, every part of the earth, even the remotest corners of the earth, sing praise unto God mm -hmm. and magnify his mighty name. The Revised Standard Version says of verse 10, Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise from the end of the earth. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, or all, everything in the sea, the coastlands and their inhabitants. Here again, we have the sea and all of the living creatures living in the sea, singing a song of praise unto God their creator mm -hmm. and God's people join in the chorus and praise and worship almighty God. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 13 says sing O heavens and be joyful O earth and break forth into singing O mountains for the Lord hath comforted his people and will have mercy upon his afflicted. The heavens sing, the earth rejoices, the mountains break forth yes. into singing praise unto their wonderful creator. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <coughs> so all of God's creation yes. praises and worships their creator. Isaiah chapter 43 verses 20 through 21. The beast of the field, all the animals in, in the field shall honor me. The dragons and the owls because I give waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my people, my chosen. This people have I formed for myself. They shall shew or show forth my praise. Here again, the King James tra translation is difficult to understand. And the New American Standard Version says, verse 20, the, the beast of the fields will glorify me, the jackals and the ostriches, because I have given waters in the wilderness and rivers in the desert to give drink to my chosen people. Yes. Think about it. That is why the waters are in the ground. To right. give us water to drink. We couldn't live but just two or three days could we without water. The, the living Bible translation says of verse 20, the wild animals in the fields will thank me, the jackals and the ostriches too, for giving them water in the wilderness, yes, springs in the desert, so that my people, my chosen ones can be refreshed. Oh, I love that. I love that. Think about it. The wild animals praise God for giving them water to drink. God takes care of the animals. After he creates them, he just doesn't leave them to fend for themselves or to starve or, or to die of thirst. God takes care of the animals. He watches over the animals that he's created and he feeds them. Remember last time we covered the entire chapter 
of Psalms chapter 148 mm -hmm. yeah. and it's talking about the creation mm -hmm. and the animals praising God and I put just a couple of verses out of Psalms 148 in your handout for tonight let's read them Psalms 148 verse 7 and verse 10 praise the Lord from the earth verse 10 beasts and all cattle creeping things and flying fowl mm. think about it in Matthew chapter 6 verse 26 Jesus is speaking and he says behold or look look at the fowls of the air you look at the birds you're fretful you're worried mm -hmm. how am I gonna ha how am I gonna have food to eat how am I gonna have water mm -hmm. to drink how am I gonna have a place to live a roof over my head I'm worried about this I'm worried about my finances I'm worried about paying my bills what am I gonna do what am I gonna do Jesus said behold look at the fowls of the air you look at the birds mm -hmm. they sow not neither yeah. do they reap they don't plant crops mm -hmm. and they don't gather those crops Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Think about that. The fowls of the air, they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. And what's Jesus' next words? Are ye not much better than they? Not just much a little better, better than the, the birds of the air, but aren't you much better than they are? Have you ever wondered how the birds get their meals? They sing and they chirp and they praise God and God feeds them. I think that's the why that's the first thing you hear in the morning is the birds singing. Why? Because they've been in their nest asleep and they're hungry. So what do they do? They start praising their creator. And here comes worms up to where they can they can pick them up and eat them god feeds them the birds sing and chirp and praise their creator and god Hallelujah. feeds them and jesus said aren't you so much better than the birds and then the air if if we will be faithful and praise our creator yes, yes, just yes. like the birds do then mm -hmm. god will not only right. feed the birds he'll feed, feed us, us too yeah. if we Take give him praise us. if we give him mm -hmm. honor if we magnify his holy name mm -hmm. he's going to feed us Amen. he's going to take Amen. care of us he's going to make sure our bills are paid he's mm -hmm. going to make sure we don't go hungry if we praise and give him honor. Lord, I thank you for yes. blessing me. I thank you for yes. meeting my needs. I may have a bill that's due right now, but I thank you that, that the finances are going to come in. Mm -hmm. I thank you that you're my faithful creator and I just praise you and worship you mm -hmm. and the money will come. Yes. God will feed you if he feeds the birds. Right. Jesus said, aren't you much better than yes. they are? Mm -hmm. How mighty, how mm -hmm. wonderful our creator is if, mm -hmm. and in all of these scriptures that we've covered we have saw over and over and over again that creation mm -hmm. has a voice mm -hmm. and all of creation lifts up its voice in praise and worship and honor mm -hmm. to God their creator so let's Ooh, join in with God's God. creation yeah. and okay. praise yeah. and worship yeah. our righteous yes. in your holy name. Lord, we join in with the birds in oh, singing and yes. praising you, Lord. Yes. We join in Thank with the, the floods and the yes. waves yes. that are clapping their hands and yes. the trees of the field Lord, clapping Lord. their hands and the stalks of corn shouting for joy. We join Amen. in with the, yes. the mountains and the hills yes. that are skipping mm. and leaping and yes. dancing and yes. singing and we're joining mm. in with them and praising yes. you. Yes. Yes. We're praising you all, 
also yes. our mighty Lord God, God, our wonderful Lord. Creator. Yes. We yes. magnify your righteous and your holy name. Thank you for feeding Lord. the birds and yes. thank you for feeding us too yes. and meeting every need that yes. we have also every according to your riches and glory Lord. by Christ yes. Jesus. And we're going to be faithful to yes. be Praisers, just yes. like the rest of your creation. I ain't going to mm. let no rock out praise yes. me. Hallelujah. Jesus said, if these mm. people don't mm. praise me, the That's rocks right. will cry out. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to let no. no rock out praise me. I'm mm. going to praise yes. you, Lord, to the top mm. of my voice, Hallelujah. just shouting and praising yeah. And worshiping and honoring you because you are my good Lord and you are my wonderful, yes. magnificent creator. And we love you, Lord. Yes. And everybody said, Amen. He saved me just in time. I'm gonna praise his name. Yeah. He stays just the same. Come on and praise him. Look what the Lord has done. And what was yours? I'll say, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. For God is great and greatly to be praised. God is great and greatly to be praised. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord all the earth. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord.